All right, so now we're ready to record, right? But we don't want to record that one bar of blank space because it's just going to take up hard drive space for no reason. So let me show you what we're going to do. We're going to start off by showing our expanded transport. So you want to go up into this little arrow up here, show all. And make sure expanded transport is selected. And it's going to bring up your pre roll menu. You want to set your pre roll to one bar, which is there. It'll be at one bar by default, but if it's not, just click there, type one, and hit enter. And your pre roll will be at one bar. Then you want to click back. Make sure you set have your tempo set in Pro Tools to the same as in your MPC, which on mine is 86.6. Then you just hit OK. Now you want to actually start recording audio at bar 2. So you're going to click right there. Put your cursor on, on bar 2 and just click. And make sure your transport looks like that. So right now we're on bar 2 and that's where it's set to record. So we, we, when we hit play, it's going to pre-roll this first blank bar and actually start recording here at bar 2. So let's go ahead and hit record hit play or for short just hit F12 that's it you know alright so now you got all your instrument tracks in there and you got them all buzzed down to audio so now just unarm everything by holding alt and pushing the record button on any track and that'll unarm all of them so now you don't really need to see these instrument tracks no more because you got the audio so you don't even need reason open anymore so you can close reason and save that CPU just close save it I'm not going to save this because I made changes that I don't want to keep. So, to save, uh, save it. Close Reason out. Now you want to control click on all your instrument tracks. So, make sure you click that one first. Hold Control, click that one. Hold Control, click that one. Click that one. Hold Control, keep holding Control. Click them all. Click all the instrument tracks. Then you right click and you push hide and make inactive so you, you don't even need those anymore and now all you got is your audio boom it's that simple but now all your drums is on the same track you might want to track those out or you know you might just want to leave them together but I'll show you how to track those out so you can start by deleting that and you can use this as one of your tracks so I know in my MPC I got what one two three four seven drum tracks so I got one already so I want to right click and, and create six more stereo audio tracks if your sounds is mono in your MPC obviously you want to use uh, mono ones alright so Let's start off with the hi-hat. Pretty much you just mute everything. Just mute all your tracks in the MPC except the one you want to record. So right now I'm going to record my hi-hat. So I'm going to un I'm going to mute everything and leave the hi-hat unmuted. Unmuted. And also before you start, you want to make sure all your new audio tracks got the right input. So right now this one's set to 1 and 2, but this one is set to spit if I'm not using that, so I'm going to set 1 and 2 there. All my other ones are 1 and 2. So let's go ahead and record the hi-hat. Still got my pre-roll set, and you're going to make sure you right click. I mean, you just click right on the number 2, second bar, because that's where you want to record. Hit play, and the pre-roll is going to start at 1. 
Same thing. Alright. Go on to my snare. Or my clap, whatever you want, whatever you got there. Mute the hi hat, unmute your clap. Record that. thing with the kick. Another kick. Pretty much just do the same thing. Got another little percussion sound. Chimey thingy. 